with this, they took over two weeks just to fill out the contract of sale. They can't even keep it straight when they were foreclosing because this is from July 7th and then the 15th. And Jesse feels so terrible. Remember, they were telling people that we didn't sell our house and that we just walked away from it. This is July 25th, 19. I got the email from Mike, thank you, but after contacting the bank, all Bill could tell us is that we have time to find another buyer before foreclosure. Mike now needs to sign the cancellation and release I emailed them. That document releases the previous buyer and their broker from the deal. Then we can accept a new contract and try to make the best of this. We'll, we'll explain to the new buyer about the basement. They will have to put a sump pump in. We just have to move on and keep trying. This is my job. It's my life. I have to keep trying. But the funny thing is, is we got home on August 5th at 12 midnight, and there was no sign on our house because she wasn't trying to do anything. This is what Mike emailed her when we were on the road. We were trying and doing everything we could while waiting for the stupid sale that never came because they never intended to. This was the diagram from the town of Cheektowaga and what they did, supposedly. I don't know what they did because we did not pump water out of our basement. We did not have water in our basement until they did whatever they did. Sent Wednesday, July 10th. We are trying to save the sale of Goring. Can you please contact me at your earliest regarding Wells Fargo? That was them asking him to write a letter, which he did. Betty Lou Harris from Metro Town Realty. This was the last thing we got from them. It's very strange because Katie sent it to my email at npeach39, and I couldn't print it up from my phone. I had to get, sign on to my computer. It was very strange. They were worried about the fence that wasn't even ours. The fence was never ours. It's Zhang's. Uh, that's part of being in business is protecting your neighbors. It's in all the codes for the town. This is when she listed it. That's our realtor, which is also Jessica Wallentinowitz's buddy. They told us that uh, Gail um, put her house up with a different realtor. When we got back, Katie had listed it. Interesting. Interesting.